Alright, so this is Jacob NightRiderShop.com. First, I want to apologize for the last few weeks. I've been ignoring my emails somewhat and phone calls and calling people back. I've just been really busy on my home. I got this really old home that I'm fixing up. I'm doing uh, construction in two bathrooms, a dining room, plastering the walls, uh, the kitchen cabinets. I'm re staining those and staining the porches and the carport areas and the front porch a bunch of reconstructions get going on and i have to do it a lot of that stuff has to be done in the summertime so back to making parts got a two three season bumper here that i'm going to be popping out it's been in here literally like two, two weeks a little bit longer than it should be but again i've been really busy had family over visitations and stuff so i'm getting back into the groove of it and let's make some parts all right, let's re remove the mold and see what we got underneath. there it is with the mold popped off this is a season two and three just have a quick go around it still haven't trimmed the edges off yet that'll be next
All right, so I just got to finish trimming the bumper. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put this out in the sun. It's a nice hot day. I'm going to let this out in the sun and see if there's any air pockets in it for just a couple hours. All right, there I have it. It's been trimmed, and now I'm going to let it bake in the sun for a little bit, see if there's any air pockets in it, because... That would really suck if somebody got a bumper, put it on their car, painted it, and an air pocket would burst open on you. So I'm going to go and take care of that for you. Bake this thing for a good hour or two. Find any air, per air pockets, pop them, fill them. That way you'll never have a problem with your bumper uh, with air pockets or the paint filling because of it. You see the sun is nice and bright today. Good 80 degree day today.